Previously on Beach is Back. Lomax is waiting to bomb burst the money into a dozen different accounts all around the world. I begin to think you weren't going to show. Come for me. I want my money. Claire, I need you to help us find Beach. Jerry, this is my new friend, Georgia. Tell him about the money, Jerry. It's out of my hands. Look, Frankie's got it. No, I know where they are! Frankie! Dawn! The money's safe. You killed him, did you? <laughs> To you. It's just a little game you play, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, a game. Right. So you're telling me this has got nothing to do with Don Beach? Who? Where is he? Who? Don Beach, where is he? I think it's time I called the real police. I know you're not a cop. Okay. Okay, look. Look, I'm not going to turn him in. I just need to talk to him. You can tell all of this to the police when they get here. Okay. Call the police. Feel free. When you see him, send him my regards. And tell him he's not the only one who can play Lazarus. Is it pretty girl? Do you know the other one? That's our fourth man, Kenneth White, alias Giorgio. Have we any idea what happened? Well, a bit of a falling out, I guess. Who's the guy that was wounded? Oh, uh, Fraser Lomax. I don't know, he describes himself as a financial advisor. They obviously didn't like his advice. Let them fill him full of morphine. Then we'll find out if this lot's down the beach. Okay. Hey, 
Excuse me. You can get me one of those if you wouldn't mind. And when you've done that, I'd really like to check out your wardrobe. You got some nice clothes. Thanks. What's your name? Uh, Winwood. Leslie Winwood. Yeah, Leslie. I particularly like the blue shirt. Great. I need to secure this. So if you go in the bathroom and get a towel and tear it up. That's right, the strips. Oh, careful, careful. Be gentle. I don't want you to make me jump. And this accidentally goes off, you know? What car are you driving? Uh, a Rover. Registration number? X two nine five C E Y. Actually, no, it's not. It's sorry. It's C Y Y Y C. Look, look. It doesn't matter. What colour is it? It's, it's red. Where is it? Um, it's a uh, part round the back in the in the hotel car oh, park. And the keys? Uh, sh should be in my jacket. Mobile phone. I think that's in there as well. Sorry about this. Chip would be all right though. Look, I'm sorry. But what did you say your name was again? <laughs> Leslie, this isn't personal, you know. But I want you to think about this. I'm taking your car, OK? And I want you to promise me that you won't try and untie yourself and give me at least an hour before you call the police. Because if you don't, I'll come back and I'll see you, OK? I won't. <laughs> Good lad. <coughs> You know the first thing I'd do, if I were you? I'd get some new shirts. <laughs> I'd nick the best one you got. <sighs> Thanks for the hospitality, all right? See you, Leslie. heavily sedated. Just give me five, five minutes, minutes with him. Five minutes, 55 minutes, the man has been shot. Three minutes. Uh, all I can tell you at the moment is that uh, at some point, uh, shots were fired and two people were found dead by the police officers arriving on the scene. Uh, a third person has been injured and they are currently being treated. Kenneth White, you and who else? Who shot you? Was it a man called Don Beach? I need to know who was involved. I need to know what happened. Look, that is enough. Your contact. Who was your contact? Who were you working for? Who introduced you to Beach? If these people find out you're still alive, they will come after you. Unless you give me some information, there's nothing I can do to help you. And can you give us any more details about the two people? One was male, uh, the other was female, but I'm really not sure if you have more details at the time. Uh, however, that is enough. I'm going to call security. Wait. Jerry Spiller. Hello. I know you're there, Spiller. And I know you've been helping Beach. Where is he?
Hi. What's going on? Why aren't you in the hospital? I... I had enough, Simon. I, I, I couldn't stay there. I had enough. You're not well. I mean, where are you going? Out. Out? Claire, where are you going? It's beach, isn't it? You're going off to beach again. I don't believe this after everything you've been through. It's precisely because of what I've been through that I'm still going after him. All right, all right, Claire. At least let me help you. No, I can't. Why not? Because I've got to do this on my own, Simon. Claire, come on. Let me help you with this. I care for you, Claire. Simon, you don't care for me. We're not the same sort of people. We're not right together. What do you mean you were not right? I, what, are, what have the last few months been about? What have we been about? I have been your bit on the side. You've got your wife. Go and hassle her. Bit on the side, my wife. Listen, Claire, you were up for this as much as I was. Simon, I was up for it. I was. But I'm not anymore. I'm not interested, just do it. No. The spitter's not there. Okay. Call the enforcers. Tim Ray, take upstairs. Looks like he's, uh, flown the coop. Let's get an all units out on him. Yesterday evening, a guest was held by a wounded gunman. The hotel's just four miles from the Dockon building. Beach. Yeah, it has to be. Any news of that uh, mystery girl? No. So he's not with her and he's not with Spiller. Everyone's playing a lone game. Oh, two dead bodies. Somebody wants everything. A little I know about Spiller. He hasn't got the guts. But on the resurrection beach, he's capable of anything. It looked like a bullet wound to me. It was bleeding, was it? Big time. And after you helped him get dressed, what happened then? Well, he took my keys and left. OK, so we're looking for a Red Rover. Hello? Stella, it's me, Don. Are you all right? I'm fine. How did you get free? Well, she untied us. I mean, what's that game, Don? Rachel says she's not a copper. Look, don't worry about her. Is it safe for me to come round? Yeah, it's safe. OK. Uh... I've got something to attend to first, and uh, then I'll be around, all right? See you later. Bye. And what do you know about James Maybrick, Mr Keating? Never heard of him. Mal Lockie? No. James Maybrick was one of the people who had their safety deposit box broken into. Now we think that James Maybrick and Mal Lockie are one and the same person. Mal Lockie. Come on, Steve, let's talk straight. Tommy Goldman's dead, Giorgio's dead, Frankie's dead, and you, you're banged up in here. And Don Beach really stitched you up, didn't he? 
Tell me about Malachi. Tommy Goldman knew him. We were given three boxes that we had to hit. They had untraceable cash in them. Maybrick's Lockies was one of them. Thank you. Mal. Mal's okay. They keep letting this happen. I'm okay. I want to do something. Lucky punch. Missing you like crazy. You okay? Yeah. Heard the news? I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything about it. Honest. What happened? Giorgio. He was one of the ones who got wasted, yeah? Yeah. That great loss. Put him away myself once. Yeah, well, he panicked and wanted some cash. Police were breathing down his neck. Well, I think Don put him and Frankie down. Because he's gone to ground. What about the money? Is it safe? Yeah. Pretty certain it is. I just don't know where it is. Oh, I should have put paid to Don at the cemetery. No. I shouldn't have let him go as far as he did. You were only doing what I told you to do. You just be careful. It's your money, Mal. I want to get hold of it. If I knew where Don was... Don't worry about it. He'll surface again. When he does, it'll be UE contacts. By the sounds of it, you're the only friend he's got. Hi, I'm D.I. Stanton from Sun Hill, and uh, you've had a visitor today called Rachel Rogers. Yeah. Just wondering who she was here to see. Yeah. Malcolm Lockie. Mal Lockie. Thank you. I must be informed as soon as possible that uh, we've had it sort of out before. Come on, come on. Come on, be quiet. Just get this treat. Been around to Stanton's place. There's no sign of her. Last thing we need is a rogue operator. Get a PNC out. Oh, they found that car. You know the bloke's car at the hotel? Yeah, where was it? It was still at the hotel. Peach never took it. He's had us chasing the wrong car all day. I mean, he knows that the players. There's still a lot of the police in him. Oh. Georgia. Shot Frankie too. She's dead. I'm sorry, Don. Stella, it was Frankie that killed Tommy, you know. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I had no idea. She killed my dad? Yeah. She said it was an accident. Look, I don't know what happened. I need a doctor, Stella.
You and Frank. When she rang, I really thought she it rang. Was here yesterday. She left her number for you. I gave it to Rachel to give to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Uh, oh, Don. I'm gonna get Phillips. He'll sort you out. Tell him it won't stop bleeding, will you? And Stella, I've got to get out of the country. I can't use the airports or the seaports. I need a private helicopter. Do you know anybody? Yeah, I do. Would you contact them for me? Yeah, and I'll let you know when it's all sorted. Good girl. Where do you want to meet with Phillips? Um, I don't know. Do you remember that place I used to meet Tommy in the early days? Uh, St Mary's? Yeah. So, what did this policewoman want? Well, you. She wanted to talk to you. Oh, and she mentioned something about uh, being Lazarus. <laughs> what was she after, Don? Some of the money. <laughs> oh, Stella. I wish it was as easy as that. I really do. Take care, Don. been shot. Shot? Well, how badly? Well, I'm going to get Phillips to see him. And he wants me to contact these people about a helicopter. Right. Yeah, great stuff. Good on you, son. Just got this through, Gov. There's been a sighting of Beach at the hospital. 100% positive? Oh, yeah, I would say so. And he was driving a car registered to a Kenneth White. Georgia. I knew Beach would make a mistake before too long. Claire Stanton. Oh, hi, Dougie. Look, thanks for getting back to me. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wondered, you know when you were carrying out that investigation on Mal Lockie? Yeah. Did the name Rachel Rogers crop up? Okay. Okay, thanks, that'd be great. Look, Doc, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. Would you know the place? Good. He'll be waiting for you. Oh. Well, he's got to finish off with a patient first and then he'll be on his way. Look, I'll sort out the helicopter. You go upstairs and lie down. No, no. I'm OK. No, you're not OK. Go and lie down. I'll sort it. Thanks, love. We've got no idea what Beach is driving now. He dumped Giorgio's car in a car park. He won't be back for it. He knows it's hot. But I have got some good news. Hippie Paray. He was detained trying to purchase a ticket at the Eurostar this morning. Weren't you, Mr. Spiller? I want to make a phone call. Why don't you just make a statement? Quicker, easier. I want to call my solicitor. But you are a solicitor. Why does he need another solicitor? Doesn't he trust himself? I want to call my solicitor. It's my right. Show him a phone. Mum, I'll take your car and then I'll take Don to the helipad. Just take care. I will. and understand what it is you're saying. It's not very difficult. No, but it is incredible. You were asked by an anonymous person to arrange a meeting with the financial advisor. Now, you arranged this meeting, but when you got there, an argument started between a group of people that you've never seen before. You obviously didn't want to get involved. 
So you left. That's right. And the next day, you decided to go on holiday to Paris by Eurostar. Yes. Having heard nothing in the news about the fatal shootings at the meeting that you'd arranged. Correct. You're a solicitor, aren't you, Mr. Spiller? Yes. Do you seriously think this is going to hold up in court? I've seen a lot worse hold up. London is death row for you. I did warn you, Don. We have to have a backup plan. You killed him! You have ruined my life, Don. Do you really think I will come looking for you? Why don't you listen to me? I'm telling the truth! I'm telling the truth! Don, Don, Don. Who's that? It's me, Don. Dr. Phillips. there'll be any permanent damage. I'm just cleaning a wound and then I'll pad it. Did your mum sort out the travel arrangements? Yeah. And? I've got it all in hand on. Yeah, I bet you have. What do you mean by that? I just know how clever you are, that's all. Yeah, 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 that's, that's right. Mal Lockie, why? Yeah. Who else has been asking about it? I can't believe that. It's hard to press right. control, alt, delete, right? And what if you want to know? And what's that? Listen, Ducky, I'll, I'll phone you back. Yeah. Cheers. Any joy? I've just spoken to Dougie Milne, who ran the original investigation into Mal Lockie. <laughs> You'll never guess who was on to him earlier. Shot me. Claire Stanton. She wanted to know what the relationship was between Mal Lockie and a Rachel Rogers. Who's Rachel Rogers? Well, apparently, she's Tommy Goldman's granddaughter. What's that? Something to help you relax? No, 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 no I don't want it. It'll take away the pain. Doctor, I don't want you stuffing me full of gear that I haven't got a clue about, OK? It's going to hurt. I will handle it, okay? And you'll need a blood transfusion. And if I don't get it, will I die? No, but you'll be very weak. I'll manage. we medical people standing by at the other end. Do you know where I'm going? Belgium. Did you make contact? Or uh, did your mother? I know, her mum did. She told me about Frankie. How she killed Grandad. <sighs> yeah. It's like me and Grandad were right all along about her. You know what puzzles me? How a very bright girl like Frankie managed to play all wrong. How? Oh. Why didn't she get in touch with me? Because she was double crossing you, Don. Oh. She could easily have uh, left a message with your mother, yeah. couldn't she? Yeah. Well, she didn't. She's trying to get you out of the way. Yeah, her and others. <laughs> I told you it was going to hurt. That's right, I'm sorry. Look, Doc, how long is this going to take? We've got a chopper to catch. Not long. Don, these people are going to want some money. Is that going to be a problem? No, no. No problem. How much you got? Enough. Everyone's going to get paid. Don't worry. So apparently, Lockie's been knocking her off since she was 16. <laughs> Did her family know? <laughs> Not from the sounds of it. Don't I mean, Mal was always pretty devious, but, uh, oh, no, that All was right. very, very hush-hush. So how did Stanton get hold of it? Ah, oh, search me. Well, what I do know is... Great. She got there before us. Just got this through, Gov. A car rental agreement taken out yesterday evening, last thing. Name Claire Stanton. 
We're looking for a silver Renault Megane, registration X373NBP. But Stanton's onto this girl by now. Yeah. She could well be onto beach. Yeah, and we're nowhere. He really should rest now. He can rest on the journey. Thank you, Doctor. Any time. Thank you very much. Outrageous. I haven't paid, Doctor. Catch up. Get in there. Asked me to give you this, and I think I'm going to need some of the morphine for the journey. What's the matter with you? You got a screw loose or something? Pot and kettle spring to mind. Oh dear. Lost a lot of blood, Don. Yeah, I have. But I'm sorry, it's not as much as you'd like it to be, Claire. So, what was the plan? I don't know, things have changed. You tell me. I could just walk out of here, couldn't I? I mean, you wouldn't shoot me, would you? You just try me. OK. So what time's your gang arriving? Oh, I've given up on them. You know, they either turn up too late or when they get here they cock it up. No, oh, this time I'm going to see things through to the end. My way. <laughs> Where's your little friend, Don? You mean Rachel? She's not the only one you've got to look out for. You mean besides you? Well, obviously besides me. You know where she went today? She went on a prison visit. To go and see her lover boy and know who he is. No, but I think I'd like to. Malcolm Lockie. <laughs> 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 yes, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But Lockie's in prison. I knew he'd try and come after me some way, whichever way he could. But using a kid like that isn't very bright. She hasn't been around the block like me and you. Move it. What's in the bags? These are what this is all about, Claire. Then they better come with us. <sighs> What's she doing? It doesn't matter. Oh. Look, we've got to get a move on. Where's that helicopter? Well, there's a power standing by. You see, Claire? I dictate the end. What are you doing with her? Just leave her there. She's not going anywhere, is she?
chopper, Rachel. You said it was standing by. Chop it much longer. Sit and relax while you wait. I was just trying to give you something for the pain. The doctor yeah, said... Yeah, yeah, stop the act, will you, Rachel? Did you seriously think you could get away with it? I don't see why not. Well, we'd be really proud of you, you know. Cool, and I'd be proud of you threatening his granddaughter. He'd have disowned you, Rachel. Disowned you. Teaming up with Mel Lockie, what's the matter with you? Look, Don, I just want his money back. No chance. It was you, wasn't it? You sent that text message to Stanton. You were the only one apart from Frankie knew where I Look, was. Don, just give me the money. It's not yours. No way. Frankie died because of Shut you. Shut up! None of this would have happened if you'd have given me the she message. She killed Grandad. She got what she deserved. Now give me the money and I'll leave you to it. Forget it. Then stay here and rot. I don't need you anymore, little girl. I think you find you do. There's no chopper. There never was. Stella, arrange Arm left me to make the arrangements. Now, give me the money, and I promise I'll get you out of here. No way. No way! You two not getting on? Rachel! Don't let me shoot you. Come back! Down on the floor! Down on the floor! You two, down! Sit down! Get down! What are you going to achieve, Dom? I thought that was bloody obvious, even for an idiot like you. I hurt her. What are you going to do, magic a helicopter? <laughs> Face it, Don, you are a complete failure. Think about it. You know, you get off, you go to Australia... Shut up! What do you do? You come back, Don, you are such an idiot. You have no friends. Claire. Rachel, I Shut don't know up. if you've noticed, she's not that keen on you, Don. Frankie, well, may she rest in peace. First, she kills your oldest and dearest friend, then you kill her. I didn't kill her. Oh, no, right, right, you didn't kill her, but it's because of you that she's dead. What about the gang? They're in the nick, squealing Claire. like stuck pigs. Just shut up. What are you going to call Don? Please shut from up. the Samaritans. Do you know, I don't know, you've got nobody. There is nobody. Shut up. Ah, God. Ah. 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 Don't you move my muscle, you stupid little bitch. Go on, Claire. Shoot me. What are you waiting for? Just do it. Kill me. Come you can do it. Be a big girl. Go on. Okay. Want me to kill you, do you, Don? Want me to blow your miserable head off? <laughs> it's too good for you. When are you going to get this straight, Don? You are doing your time. You are such a silly girl. We could have been so good together. We could have had a great time, Claire. Just you and me. Well done. What a shame we're never going to find out. Dear Peters, please. No, don't worry, there's no hurry. Happy birthday, twin. A computer. Thanks. Hello, Donald. Claire. Um, Brian, do me a favor. Just give me a minute, will you please? Computer and a car. Oh, <laughs> 
So, Claire, how are you feeling? I mean, did you enjoy the trial? Ooh, Thanks, I Mom and Dad. Every second of it. <laughs> don't tell me you're not a little bit disappointed we don't have capital punishment, though. Do you know, Don, if I had wanted you dead, I would have shot you. Nah. Go ahead. No, you wouldn't. You just couldn't do that. You're not like me. <laughs> That's why I was such a good copper. And open your present. You're great. How are you feeling, though? Oh, I feel fantastic. Yeah? Especially today. Yeah. How are you really feeling, Claire? What do you mean, am I really feeling? Well, you've got nothing left, have you? I mean, you've blown everything. No job. And I know you still haven't got a man. Hmm. You've got nothing to live for, have you? You are gonna miss me, Claire. <laughs> Don't it's not me that just got life. Mm. Haven't you, Claire? What the hell? What do you expect? Claire, I've booked us a table for dinner, a year yeah. from today. Condoms? Keep it free. We talk about old times. <coughs> nice present, Kelly. Shut up, duck. I've got a message for you. Tell sis I'm back. You are. This. I know he's back. You know, he's been dealing drugs to kids on the Bronte. Leroy, I just have to see you again. Okay, I'm gonna bat for Weekend highlights here on Carlton. The best of tomorrow's top football action in the Premiership at seven. Then on Sunday at eight, DCI yes. Tom Shut Barnaby back. encounters an old adversary in Midsummer Murders. Back to tonight, and just about anything could happen next. It's Lily Live. Stop fighting to a twin. <laughs>